I probably don't need to tell you this, but working for someone else can really suck. You slave away for hours for a bit of pocket money while you're making someone else's financial dreams come true. Sure, there is the rare job that you might love or is really fulfilling, but that doesn't mean you're on your way to retiring early. You already know that having your own business is a great way to build your financial freedom. But starting a business takes capital, right? Well, not really. Sure, that was true years ago. But today, with the power of the internet and this current digital age, you can actually start a business with zero capital. All it takes is your hard work and follow through. Hi, I'm Kim, and in this video, I will share five business ideas you can start with no initial capital or financial requirements. Take out a notebook and a pen because this is gonna be a good one. Let's go! Right off the bat, before we get into the specific ideas, it's important to realize that you can turn any skill that you already have into a viable business that has a potential to earn six, seven, or eight figures. You only need to rely on yourself to create value by offering your services to other people. I know what you're thinking. Hey Kim, I thought the whole point of starting a business was so we'd stop trading time for money. Well, not exactly. In the beginning, when you first start your business, and especially when you don't have any money, you have to invest what is called sweat equity. This means investing your time and energy to build your business instead of investing capital to buy systems or tools that do some of that work for you. This is true no matter what business you're going to start. So this is an important expectation to set from the very beginning. As you keep building this business and scale it up, you can get to a point where you aren't trading time for money. You will have set up processes that allow you to keep making money even when you're not working. Like I said before, it's easier to make money or start a business these days than it was 50 years ago. And the sole reason for this is the internet. All of these ideas require literally just a laptop. Some of these ideas we'll be talking about in this video are more personal, but a lot of these ideas you can literally just do with a computer. And everything on this list is scalable. All right, so the first business idea that you can start with no money is print on demand. With this business idea, you don't need any money to start a clothing business. Here's how it works. When a customer orders, say, a shirt from your website or online platform, the factory or your supplier will start making that shirt. As the name suggests, they will print it when you want it and then send it to you. So you don't have to do anything but call customer service for that shirt to be printed and sent to you. It's kind of like drop shipping in a way, but without dealing with merchandise or stock. Plus, it's much easier to get started it's one of the best and simplest ways to start doing business online. To get started, you can use sites like Printify and Shopify, which are probably the best two places to start. I'll say that one of the most important things to watch out for when doing print on demand is trademark infringement. Many popular slogans and designs may be copyrighted. So if you're not sure and you can't afford consulting with a copyright lawyer, then you probably want to steer clear. Of course, just because you make a product doesn't mean anyone will know about it. That's why marketing is one of the most important parts of any business. And the best way to market for free is using social media. Use sites like TikTok and Instagram to create engaging content. Reach out to influencers to collab with them. Maybe send them a free shirt in exchange for a shout out. All right, so the second business idea is starting up a niche content blog. You can start a blog about a specific topic. This could be about things like Shih Tzu's, personal finance, lamps, martial arts, you name it. The way this blog works is that your blog posts and articles bring people to your site. The goal is for these articles to get good rankings on search engines like Google. It helps to know a bit of the basics related to SEO or search engine optimization. A 15 minute deep dive on YouTube can probably give you the gist of how it works. It'll help you create content that is optimized to be found through search. You'll also have affiliate links in these posts, which is how you can make money directly from a content website. When people click on these links and buy the product or service, you'll get a cut of the money, all at no additional cost to the website visitor. If you don't have any money, this is a great business to start. You can make your first blog quickly and easily with a free blogging tool, like Wix. It's very simple. Or you can use WordPress and a web host like SiteGround to make a blog that is more advanced and can be changed in many ways. But I think that for most people just starting out, Wix is a good initial place to start while you get things off the ground. But the key to making this business idea work is to make a lot of good content. If you don't like writing, it'll be very hard to keep up with this type of business. 
but if you do it well, you can attract a good audience who are actively seeking this type of content. If you rank for these keywords, it means that the people who search for them are likely to buy whatever you have to sell. Affiliate income is no joke, and many people make six and seven figure incomes just from their blogs. People think that blogging is dead, but there's still so much untapped market and potential for blogging. Definitely don't dismiss this one, because it's still a tried and true method to start a business with no money. The third business idea is personal branding. This is a type of business that is great for generating more business. While it might not bring you money directly, it will make it much easier to make money in the future. You need to spend a lot of time in social media if you want to build a strong personal brand. You need to make a social media account on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, or whatever platforms are popular in your country. You also need to get the reputation you want to build your influence. Think about what you're good at, what you can offer other people, and what kind of change and learning you want to help other people achieve. So many business people miss out on the chance to create an effective personal brand. People don't think this as a business, but if you want to start a business in the future, this is a great place to spend a lot of your time. Personal branding is like free advertising for any business you might start in the future. Once you have a certain amount of influence, any product or service you offer will be linked to your personal brand. This will make it much easier to get started. Building a personal brand takes a lot of time, but nothing else. It doesn't cost money, but it takes a lot of time. Social networks are free. It's free to post good content. Everything you need to start building your personal brand is free and you can do it while you're working another job or doing something else on the side. Is it easy? Not really, but it has amazing potential. This is the kind of long-term strategy that a lot of people miss, which is why I'm putting it on this list. I think it's very important. And if you start building your personal brand early on, you'll have a big advantage in whatever you do in the future. The fourth business idea is becoming a virtual assistant. If you want to work from home and learn how a business runs, becoming a virtual assistant, also known as a VA, is a good way to start. This is a service-based business where you basically work as an assistant for a company owner or whoever needs services done. This means that you'll be doing things like word processing, Excel sheets, and pretty much anything else that gives the person who hires you more time. I love this business opportunity because it lets you learn about the back end of any company. The person who hires you, trains you, and, as a result, you learn the ins and outs of the business. Have you ever heard about Hollywood producers who make deals happen and earn a ton of money releasing blockbuster films? Well, believe it or not, almost all of them started out as someone's assistant. They learned the ropes and eventually rose to do the same thing themselves. If you are a good assistant, you can learn a lot. You're basically getting paid to learn. At first glance, it might seem kind of dull, but there is a lot to learn. Check out opportunities on Upwork or Fiverr in a field you're interested in learning about. This is the best way to learn a lot about that industry and make money at the same time. The pay isn't very good. You won't get rich by becoming a virtual assistant, but the most important thing here is to get experience. You're still making money, so it's kind of like getting paid to do an internship. One challenge of this is, as a VA, you can only work a certain number of hours per day, but one way to do this on a larger scale is to start a staffing agency where you hire out VAs to companies. You do the hard work of finding and training VAs who are trainable or have some basic skills, and you take a cut of what they're paid or you get a referral bonus. By doing this, you are now making money without doing anything. If you do it right, becoming a virtual assistant is a great way to make money from home and learn how a business works. You'll get paid, but you also learn a lot about how to run a business. And the last business idea is becoming a TikTok manager. Some creators need help negotiating deals with brands, working with brands, and finding sponsorship opportunities. I believe that this industry currently has a huge untapped market because of the large number of growing influencers on this platform. So if you're really good at negotiating brand deals and finding opportunities for your clients, there's definitely a demand. People will find you and find your services very valuable. You have to know what the platform is all about, of course, and you need to know how to sell your clients to different brands and companies. With an average going rate of around 10 to 20%, there is a lot of money to be made. I suggest reaching out to smaller influencers and tell them how you can help them make more money with your services. Your first clients are the ones most likely to tell others about you. They probably know other creators, so if you do a good job for one, they will tell their friends about you. And if you become well known, you can grow it and turn it into a full-fledged agency. You can start your own agency, 
hire other agents, and start adding bigger and bigger influencers to your roster. It's a great opportunity, and if you know anything about TikTok, you know how much potential there is for all these new influencers to be represented. So guys, these days you really don't need any money to start a business. I know that some of these ideas are less common than others, but don't knock them. That's what makes them unique. The world has unlimited opportunities. You just have to go out and put in the work to make them happen. Take action, get uncomfortable, just start doing things, and learn as you go. Remember, these are just ideas, and just the tip of the iceberg with businesses. In fact, if you watch this video, I share a whole different list of potential side hustles that can help you make money right away. Check it out, and I'll see you there!